Welcome to your Scorpio New Moon Astrology Forecast for all 12 signs. I'm your astrologer, Patricia Tate. I specialize in traditional Western and evolutionary astrology. I'm excited to share this month's astrological forecast with you. Please like and subscribe as it helps the channel to grow. If you are new here, welcome. You can learn more about my offerings at willowgracemystic.com. For those of you who've been following me, thank you for your support and for sharing your journey with me. So the Scorpio New Moon on... Um, November 1st is going to be at nine degrees. So this is, it's ushering in this deep and intense energy. It's marking this powerful time for renewal and for rebirth. Scorpio is a fixed water sign and it is ruled by Pluto, the modern ruler, and Mars is the traditional ruler, both of which highlight the themes of transformation, about personal power, about deep emotional healing. This moon offers an opportunity to confront those hidden truths, to release the old patterns, and begin anew with a focus of regeneration. Scorpio's influence is really profound. It often brings up matters that are related to sex or intimacy or shared resources, control, the subconscious. This lunar event is going to encourage you to explore the depths of your emotional world. It's asking you to reflect on these areas of your life where you need to reclaim your power of letting go of limiting beliefs. Under the Scorpio new moon, you're invited to embrace vulnerability and use this as a strength, trusting, and that releasing is going to lead to empowerment and growth for you. New moons always represent new beginnings, fresh starts, clean slates, uh, a, a time of, of starting anew. And so in the sign of Scorpio, this is a time to plant the seeds for personal transformation, whether you're looking at making shifts within your emotional life or within your financial areas of your life or within relationships. This is going to be a potent moment for setting these intentions that align deeply with healing and your long-term emotional patterns or this is an, an opportunity to move towards growth. New moons, they always encourage us to let go of what no longer serves us, whether it's outdated emotional patterns or toxic relationships or stagnant circumstances so that we can now create space for something that's more authentic, more aligned with our true desires. The energy of this new moon, it's particularly suited for introspection, making this an ideal time for reflection or journaling or other forms of doing the inner work. It's a period where clarity can come and emerge from the depths, revealing truths that may have been hidden from our view. Whether you're working through your emotional wounds or whether you're seeking, seeking to deepen your uh, connections that you have with others, this Scorpio new moon, it's supporting the kind of lasting transformations that can lead to empowerment and resilience. As you navigate through this lunar phase, allow yourself to embrace change, to embrace trust in the power of renewal. This is a time for you to let go of like fear, to step into your strength, to plant the seeds for a future that reflects your deepest values and desires. The Scorpio new moon, it's reminding us that from the darkness, comes the light and with it the opportunity for profound growth offerings this month join my patreon community for exclusive astrology content as a member you'll gain access to ad free videos early forecasts monthly live tarot and astrology sessions uh, this is a perfect space if you're ready to dive deeper into the celestial currents that guide your life go to the link below in the description to explore all the membership tiers and benefits Special for Scorpios, celebrate your birthday with a personalized solar return reading at a special rate. Use the code SCORPIO10 at checkout to enjoy this limited time discount. Schedule your appointment today and discover what the universe has in store for you for your year ahead. Additionally, I am offering live astrology consultations every other Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Reserve your spot and get in the queues because spaces fill up fast. Be sure to sign up using the link below. I look forward 
forward to connecting with all of you, helping you to navigate your journey ahead. So let's dive in. So for Aries Sun, Moon and Rising, this new moon for you on November 1st is going to provide this intense opportunity for you for transformation and rebirth. New moons are always times that we plant the seeds. We set these intentions to in order to initiate new beginnings. This new moon is activating uh, you diving into the hidden truths, releasing old patterns, empowering yourself through profound personal growth in your eighth house of shared resources, the house of deep psychological transformation transformations. With this new moon in your eighth house, it's inviting you to take a hard look and focus on themes of vulnerability, of trust, and the dynamics within power within your relationships. These can be in business partnerships or significant others, and this can also be through exes. Because this is the house of all shared resources that have to do with money or that have to do with contracts. And so this is going to be a potent time for you to reflect on your financial partnerships, such as joint investments or debt or inheritances. Consider what needs to be transformed in these areas of your life and look to set this intention for a greater balance and a mutual empowerment. Additionally, you might find yourself drawn to like exploring the mysteries of life, such as spiritual practices or psychology or even metaphysical topics. This is a time to confront any emotional baggage that's been weighing you down with the potential for deep healing. So Aries, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For exclusive content and deeper insight, check out my Patreon community using the link below. And if you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And don't forget to subscribe. So for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising, this Scorpio new moon is going to be on November 1st, 2024, and it's providing you this intense opportunity to transform and have a rebirth. New moons, there are always times to plant seeds, set your intentions, or initiate new beginnings. This new moon is an invitation to dive into the hidden truths of partnership, to release old patterns of control to empower yourself with profound personal growth. The seventh house for you revolves around all topics of love, contractual agreements between you and a business partner, you and a significant other, best friends, open enemies, and with clients. The seventh house is about um, a conflict and legal matters and signing of documents. And so since the seventh house represents all of your one plus one or your one-on-one -on -one relationships, both personal and professional, this new moon is highlighting this area of your life that you might feel called to reset the dynamics within your closest relationships. Whether it's a romantic partner, a business collaborator, or even close friends, this is a time to reflect on how do you engage with others and where do you need to create more harmony, more trust? If there have been imbalances within your partnerships, now is going to be the time that you're going to want to address them. Uh, look at them with openness and, and vulnerability. You might also set, set these intentions for new partnerships that are emotionally fulfilling and that are aligned with your long-term goals, your long-term values. This new moon is asking you to deepen your connections and to strengthen your foundations of your most important relationships. So Taurus, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology forecasts. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe. So for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising, you are having this Scorpio New Moon on November 1st, 2024 in your sixth house. This is providing you with this intense opportunity for transformation and rebirth in your day-to-day -day habits. New moons, there are always times to plant seeds, a fresh start, new beginnings, set your intentions, and to initiate these new beginnings. This new moon is an invitation to delve into the hidden truths in order for you to release old patterns. It's about empowering yourself through profound personal growth. With the, uh, the new moon 
falling within your sixth house, the focus becomes on your daily routines, your work environment, your health, the balance between your home and your work. And so this is going to be an ideal time for you to reassess how do you manage your day to day responsibilities and how do you make adjustments that support the greater efficiency um, of your well-being, whether it's in refining your work habits or it's in incorporating new health routines or finding a better work-life balance. This lunar event is encouraging you to prioritize your well-being. Consider setting intentions around how can you improve your physical health. Uh, you might ins be inspired to reorganize your tasks, streamline processes, uh, to take on a role that um, feels more purposeful or that's aligned with your goals. The energy of this transformation in the sign of Scorpio, it can help you uncover these hidden patterns that may be affecting your health or affecting your productivity, allowing for a fresh start in these areas of your life. So Gemini, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and and new moon astrology consultations for exclusive content and deeper insights check out my patreon community page using the link below if you're looking for a private consultation you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe so for cancer sun moon and rising you are having this new moon in a harmonious aspect fellow water sign to your first house of your identity. It's falling into your fifth house of fun, joy, and pleasure. So the Scorpio new moon on November 1st, 2024, it's providing you with this intense opportunity of transformation and a rebirth in what brings you joy, what brings you pleasure. New moons are always a time to plant seeds, set intention, intentions, and to initiate these uh, new beginnings with a clean slate. This new moon is an invitation for you to delve into the hidden truths and to release these old patterns and empower yourself through profound personal growth. With the fifth house being associated to with creativity or romance or your self-expression, this new moon is encouraging you to explore your creative potential and to embrace what brings you love, pleasure, and joy, your passions, whether you're starting a new artistic project or you're rekindling a new romance or a relationship or finding new ways of expression, expressing yourself, of tapping into your inner child. This is a time to let your inner light shine. You might also find that issues that are related to children, either with your own or those that you care for, they now come into a focus, providing you with an opportunity for strengthening this connection and for an understanding. If you are single, this new moon is an opportunity to open the door to a new romantic opportunity. While those of you that are in relationships, you might experience a, a deepening of your emotional bonds. Set these intentions for joy, passion, a sense of playfulness in your day-to-day -day life, as well as for ways to reconnect with your inner child to bring about more fun in your daily routine. So Cancer, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe. So for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the Scorpio New Moon on November 1st, 2024 is gonna be activating themes around security, home, your foundation. And so the this new moon is providing you with this opportunity of a transformation and a rebirth. New moons are always times to plant seeds, they're setting intentions, they're new beginnings. And so this new moon is an invitation to to delve into the hidden truths, release any old patterns, empower yourself through profound personal growth of what you need for a solid foundation. This new moon in your fourth house is bringing attention to your home, your family, your emotional foundations. The fourth house is also your genealogy, your DNA. It's your parents, your grandparents, it's anybody who lives within the home with you. 
This is going to be an opportunity for you to reflect on your personal roots or your family dynamics or the security that you have built for yourself. You might feel this desire to want to make change to your living uh, environment, whether it's a move, a renovation, or simply by creating a comfortable, more nurturing space. This lunar event, event is uh, inviting you to set the intentions around emotional healing, perhaps focusing on your family relationships or your dynamics in addressing any unresolved issues that have come from your past or from being a child. You might want to also work on creating this deeper sense of an inner security, ensuring that your home life aligns with your emotional needs. Additionally, this is going to be this powerful time for you to reconnect to your ancestors ancestry or exploring your heritage, drawing strength from your roots or from your foundation. So Leo, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology forecasts. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And don't forget to subscribe. So for Virgo sun, moon, and rising, the Scorpio new moon that you're going to have on November 1st, 2024 is uh, providing you this intense opportunity for transformation and rebirth in the way that you communicate on a daily basis. This can be with neighbors and siblings and cousins. It's where we seek information. It's where we share information with other people. Now, new moons, they're always times to plant seeds, fresh starts, clean slates, new beginnings, a time to in initiate things. And so this new moon is offering you this invitation to delve into the hidden truths in order for you to release these old patterns, in order for you to empower yourself through profound personal growth of the way that you communicate. The third house being the, the house that governs all types of communication and of learning and your local environment. This new moon is energizing this area. It's a great time to set your intentions on improving how you communicate. How do you interact with those people that are around you? Siblings, neighbors, cousins, um, somebody at the grocery line. This could involve starting a new learning endeavor for you, a class or a workshop improving your writing or your speaking skills, engaging more actively within your community or your connections. You might also feel drawn to address any unresolved issues that come with siblings or neighbors or your close relatives. Use this time to heal and strengthen those relationships. If you have been considering like that you want to take up a new hobby or a new course of study, now is going to be the time for you to plant these seeds. This Scorpio energy it is encouraging you to have these deep conversations so that you might find yourself having more meaningful and transformative discussions during this period. So Virgo, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe. So for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, you're going to have a Scorpio new moon on November 1st, 2024 in your second house. The second house is your cash, your property, your skill set, your resources. So this new moon is providing you with this intense opportunity for transformation and a rebirth with these topics, these themes that revolve around what you need in order to be secure. And so new moons, there are times to plant seeds, a fresh start, clean slate, uh, a time to initiate new beginnings. And so this new moon is an invitation for you to delve into the hidden truths and release these old patterns uh, to empower yourself through personal profound growth. Now, the new moon being in your second house, it really shines this spotlight on your finances, on your values, on your material possessions. This is going to be a perfect time for you to review your um, financial situation, to set your goals for increasing your income, your savings, your investments. You might want to reassess 
how your current financial uh, practices align with your core values and make adjustments that bring you closer to your long-term goals. Additionally, the second house is connected to your self-worth. Now, this new moon can also inspire you to reflect on how do you value yourself and whether you're being fairly compensated for your efforts. Consider setting your intentions uh, around topics that promote both your financial stability, your emotional security, and ensuring that your material pursuits, that they are in harmony with your personal values. So Libra, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe. So for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising, this new moon is all about you. I absolutely love this for you. The new moon that you're going to be having on November 1st, 2024 is going to be providing you this intense opportunity for transformation and a rebirth of you, your identity, you being seen, your appearance, things that you want to start or launch. New moons are always times to plant seeds, uh, set intentions, initiate new beginnings, a clean slate. This new moon for you is an invitation for you to dive into the hidden truths in order to release these old patterns and empower yourself through profound personal growth. The powerful new moon that you're having occurring in your first house of who you are focuses entirely on you, your identity, your appearance, how you present yourself to the world. I always say that the first house is like your business card or your website. This is a time for a personal reinvention where you can set these intentions around your personal goals, your ambitions, how you want to be seen by others. You might feel the strong urge to make these changes around your appearance or to start a new fitness um, program or pursue a new personal project project. This new moon is about emotional empowerment. It's encouraging you to tap into your inner strength. It's about embracing your authenticity. This is going to be a time to let go of any self-doubt, any insecurities that are holding you back, stepping into uh, you, being confident in your power, allowing yourself this true opportunity to shine. So Scorpio, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe. So for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising, the Scorpio New Moon on November 1st, 2024 is going to be in your 12th house. Your personal unconscious, your dreams, your intuition, your psychic ability. It's about your inner world. It's about an opportunity to heal and renew. So having a new moon here is really providing you this opportunity of transformation and a rebirth. New moons are always times to plant seeds, fresh starts, clean slates, and to initiate these new beginnings. Now, this new moon is an invitation for you to delve into the hidden truths of your sub your subconscious. To um, uh, it's it's where we go within in order to connect to spirit, divine, your higher power. This new moon is about uh, diving into the hidden truths and releasing these old patterns that are related to fear or things that have been holding you back, and empowering yourself for profound personal growth. Growth. The twelfth house is the realm of the subconscious, spirituality. It's the house of endings. This new moon is encouraging, uh, like a, a deep introspection, inviting you to reflect upon your inner world and what you need to release in order to move forward. The twelfth house is where we have this broken record of what people have said to us or what we believe upon ourselves, and we hear it. You might feel drawn to engage in spiritual practices such as yoga or meditation or journaling or dream work or seeking clarity with healing on a soul level. This is also going to be a time of letting go of old patterns that involve fears or these limiting beliefs that have been holding you back. 
the energy of the 12th house, it supports emotional and psychological renewal. It's about setting intentions around healing and closure and spiritual growth for you. Solitude, it can be really beneficial at this time, providing you a space for deep reflection and for transformation. So Sagittarius, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For exclusive content and deeper insight, check out my Patreon community page using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe. So for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising, the Scorpio New Moon on November 1st, 2024 is going to be in your 11th house of your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your goals. And so this is providing you with this intense opportunity for a transformation and a rebirth with these themes, these topics. New moons are always a time to plant seeds, set intentions, a fresh start, clean slate, to initiate these new beginnings. And so this new moon is an invitation for you to delve into the hidden truths with your goals, your networks, to release old patterns, to empower yourself through profound personal growth. Now, this new moon in your 11th house is focusing in on your friendships, your social networks, your long-term goals. This is going to be a really great time for you to reassess your aspirations. It's going to be a great time for you to set these new goals for your future. You might feel inspired to connect with like-minded individuals or to join new groups at this time or you might want to take the leadership role within a group or network or community. The energy of, of Scorpio, it encourages you to uh, deepen your connections with others, focus on building meaningful, supportive relationships, set these intentions around you finding your tribe, aligning with your purpose, you uh, contributing to a cause that really resonates with your core values. This is also a time for you to reflect on your role within your groups and how you can make these lasting impacts for the collective. So Capricorn, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. And don't forget to subscribe. So for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising, you are going to be having a new moon, Scorpio new moon, on November 1st, 2024, at the top of your chart, your 10th house, your career, your responsibilities, the legacy that you want to leave behind. The, the Scorpio new moon here is providing you with this intense opportunity to transform and have a rebirth of what you want to do, where you want to go things that you want to achieve. New moons are always times to plant seeds, a fresh start, a clean slate, setting intentions or initiating these new beginnings with your responsibility, you being seen. This new moon is an invitation for you to delve into the hidden truths, releasing old patterns and empowering yourself through profound personal growth. Your career and your public image are now going to be under the magnifying glass in the spotlight. This new moon is going to be this ideal time for you to set these uh, intentions around your professional goals in order for you to seek out these opportunities for you to have advancement or to make changes that can help align you with your long-term career aspirations. Whether you're looking to step into a leadership role or shift your current professional focus, or you're looking to enhance your reputation, this is a powerful moment of transformation for you. Consider how your influence can make a positive impact in your field and set intentions around your, prof your professional growth that align with your personal values. Additionally, this new moon, it can really prompt you to reflect on your work-life balance, encouraging you to find this harmony between your public and your private life. So Aquarius, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology forecasts. For exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com and don't forget to subscribe. 
So for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising, uh, you are going to be having a Scorpio new moon on November 1st, 2024 in your ninth house of you connected with other people. It's the house of travel. It's the house of publishing and legal matters. It's the house of studying and learning and spirituality. And so this new moon in, in the sign of Scorpio here is providing you with this intense opportunity for transformation and rebirth in these areas. New moons are always a time to have a fresh start, a clean clean slate, set your intentions and have the initiation of new beginnings. And so this new moon is an invitation in order for you to delve into the hidden truths, to release old patterns, to empower yourself with profound personal growth. And so this new moon in your ninth house is encouraging you to expand your horizons through travel, education, religion, spiritual exploration. This is a time to set your intentions around your personal growth, whether it's through pursuing higher education, planning a trip, engaging in these new spiritual practices. The ninth house, it also governs your belief systems. And so you might find that at this time, you're, you are reflecting on your core philosophies and how they have shaped your worldview. This is going to be a powerful time to broaden your perspective, to embrace these new ideas, to seek out experiences that uh, challenge and that inspire you. Set your goals that can that can uh, like promote your growth around learning and a deeper understanding of what the world looks like and is around you. So Pisces, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For exclu exclusive content and deeper insights, check out my Patreon community using the link below. If you're looking for a private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And don't forget to subscribe.